ago uh, a couple of vlogs ago back I showed you two garments that I bought when I was shopping uh, I do sometimes buy garments and this was in the sale French connection and it was reduced I can't remember how much it was probably about 20 or 25 pounds and uh, I liked the shape of it I liked the style of it particularly this bit here the uh, the drawstring suggested to me that she asked me if I could lay it out or if I could tell her show you a bit more of it because she too liked the design so I've laid it out flat um, just to let you see and the front is shorter than the back for starters the facing is uh, a wider facing all the way around and the front is basically it's basically like a shirt dress but it I would imagine that what they've done is they've taken the pattern of a shirt dress and they've made little V's in it to open it up, to widen it up and they've made the back longer than the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this uh, cord just so you can see how, it's, how it lies out. Okay, so I've loosened the cord and it, when you're wearing it, it kind of has a curve from it goes down here and slightly up and round But if you look at it, it's straight across and basically they have um, They've made this cord, they've, they've set the cord higher than the waistline I think it's higher than the waistline so it actually goes above your belly It's kind of just below your bust but just above your belly So rather like as if it was in a maternity type style and that is why it tends to to drape nicely on on the dress on when you're wearing it. Um, the holes, if I can zoom in to let you see, they are just sewn holes. Will it go further? The little em embroidered holes. I think these have been done by machine. You could hand embroider them, or you could even put rivets in and feed the the um, cord through. What they've done is on the very end of the cord, if I go down here, uh, what they do is they tie a knot there and then on the very end of the cord there's a little piece of metal. You could just put a bead on or something, whichever. And what I shall do now is I'll turn it round so you can see the back of it. So this is the back and apologies because if you see there that's my hoover. I've not long hoovered, my white cat has come in and she's already deposited hairs onto this, onto the floor, it's already on the floor so I must hoover about twice a day because they're, they're confined to this room and I'm always washing the floor and uh, hoovering up the hairs. Anyway, this is the back of the uh, dress and uh, it's got a pleat in the middle, it's got the yoke and it's got the standard collar and cuffs so it's just basically a straightforward shirt dress with pockets, it's got pockets as well the pockets are in there but um, a straightforward shirt dress but it's got, it's got that flair to it now I'm going to do this one handed so it might not work so well but basically if I pull this thread like that, it pulls it up, it pulls these folds in so that they're actually, it gives them a nice drape to them and when you're wearing it, it actually hangs nicely. So I'm going to tie a little knot on this side which will match that. Basically it's like a bow type, a, a, a bow type knot. So that's like that, fold it over and then make the knot. I can't do it with two hands, let's see if I can do it. I'm going to hold this in the right chin and go like that and then round like that 
like that. Now I'm going to have to stop this and replay to see if you actually saw that. <laughs> so there you are, that's it with it tied together. Sorry you got a bit of a boob as well whilst I had that under my chin. But you got the idea of what, it's, what it does. Uh, collar, neck, collar, just an, an invisible fly front. You could probably still put buttons on. But um, what I might do, what I fancy doing is making another one and seeing if I can adapt it from a, sh a shirt dress pattern. So I shall seek out a shirt dress that I think might be appropriate and I'll show you how I would modify it. <laughs> and uh, I was telling you about the uh, the shirt there I was telling you about the, the needle cord shirt dress that I bought and that I would see if I could find a pattern that would be that would work with it I've had a look and the pattern that I found will work will it would it, I think will work very nicely and it's got a little bit of coffee stain on it is the sew over it Alex dress and that I'll cover my hand over the coffee stain that is the I can't see very are they that's that's the sew over Alex dress very similar to the corduroy one it doesn't have pockets on the one that I have so I would if, if I was going to try and copy the one make a, a more or less a similar copy I wouldn't have the pockets and I wouldn't have these tabs sleeves on the one that I had are longer and they have cuffs on them so it's basically the same as this but if you wanted them longer sleeves you could lengthen the the sleeves there uh, I think it might work that's like a three-quarter length sleeve which would take it to about there so I think you could get away with that one and uh, the only difference is it's not buttoned all the way down it stops there so the buttons go so far and it stops just about above waist and so you could you wouldn't need to do that if, if what I what I did this is um, the Alex dress comes as a short, uh, Alex dress or shirt comes as a short shirt or a long one. The back one I would cut straight across and the front one actually goes up. So I would curve it upwards like that. I have these which I can't remember where I've got them from. Oh, it's clothingpatterns101.com and basically these are on paper. These are paper, front trousers, back trousers, clothingpatterns101.com and it's a quarter scale front pant sloper there, quarter scale sleeve, quarter scale skirt, front and back and a, sorry it should be that way, it should be that way, no, quarter scale skirt, front and back, bodice, front and back. Now these I printed on paper from uh, clothingpatterns101.com I'll put the link down below and uh, I just cut, glued them onto cardboard and cut the cardboard out. When I was doing fashion design course years and years ago we used little uh, these quarter scale patterns for a uh, quarter scale I think ours was a, uh, a sixth scale that we had but it, we use those for making different designs. So basically what I did here was I took the front skirt sloper and the front skirt. I didn't bother about taking, moving the darts around because I just wanted a basic shape to show you how I do it. And I drew round it and I ended up with, ended up with a front where I joined it together, a front. And when I did it, I curved it from top to bottom. And I made it so that the back, the back there matched the back at there and this was a straight hem there. Then just to show you what I did, you would normally then draw lines down here. So what I've done is half of it I've done in tissue to let you see. And basically from the waist I made slits in it. And then I spread those slits out a little bit so I actually have a wider top a wider skirt I've got a bit of sellotape along there to let you see how the difference is and you would do the same on both sides so in the case of this this would be the front shirt and there would be, it would be actually open there because that's where your front seam is going to be 
but I would do the same to that pattern so basically I would trace off the Alex shirt the pattern and then I would open it up from the waist I would now the, the Alex shirt basically has a nice shape to it it doesn't go right right in at the waist there so it's quite a nice shape the way it goes down there so that's more or less the same way and then I would open it up and put pieces of paper behind that pieces of tissue to behind it to open it up and so your pattern becomes much wider if you do it on both sides then your pattern this is going to go from there to about there so you're going to have quite a wide skirt and you do the same for the back and this is just basically showing you how I drew the lines I haven't done a very good job on this second one but basically drew the waistband then drew the lines and then I would cut up separate them out a little bit to the width that you want them to be and then and then uh, put some paper behind to re to uh, fill those spaces then lay that onto the fabric and cut it out so um I'm quite liking this Alex dress, Alex shirt dress, so I might get it and uh, use that to make another one of those uh, those shirts like the um, like the one I bought. So, oh, a message, and that message is I think I know who it's from. I think it's from Janice Kalaya because Janice has just messaged me to say that Buttrick in, in America is having a sale at $1.99 and would I like some so she could get them and send them to me so I've made a list of a few patterns that I think would be quite nice for a bigger body and when I eventually get them I will do a pattern haul for you and I, that's very kind so this is a message to Janice Clyer hi Janice um, Thank you very much. I've already thanked you on my little message. I noticed I kept saying thank you, thank you, thank you. But thank you very much for that, for what, you, what you've offered to do. And um, I'm very appreciative, but I will be reimbursing you for whatever it costs you. Don't worry. I think we've already discussed that. But anyway, thank you very much, Janice, for offering to do that for me and sending me some. So we have holiday time now children break up most kids in a break up today and so as of tomorrow as of today i'm finished work for for over a week so as of tomorrow we are going up to northumberland to where i was born to the land of the castles and uh, we are going to go and stop in our usual place i think i've shown you videos before of uh, the house that we rent by the sea and if you'd like I'll take you on my cruise with me. <laughs> it's a family reunion. I think I've already told you this and, and the, this is the sad thing about getting older. You repeat yourself quite often. So um, sisters, just my sisters come up from France. My brothers come up from Canterbury, the other end of the country. My daughter's on her way up now, only with one, one child. Oh, and that's her. So I better go. Catch you next time.